Welcome back to Theme Park Spark. Please like and subscribe. Today we're at City Walk at Universal Studios Hollywood, checking out some of the stores, doing some shopping, and trying some new restaurants. But before we could do any of those things, we had to drive to Universal and then park our car. In this video, I'm going to share a money-saving parking hack on site at Universal Studios Hollywood. But stay tuned until the end to find out how to park your car for only $3 and how to park your car for free. Parking at Universal Studios Hollywood is not cheap. General parking for the day is $30, preferred parking is $50, and front gate parking is $70 if you enter the parking garage before 5 p.m. After 5 p.m., the prices go down to $10 for general parking and $20 for preferred parking. But what if you just want to have lunch at City Walk and look in the stores for a few hours? Do you really have to pay $30 just to park your car? No, you don't. Simply head to valet parking. With validation from a sit-down restaurant at City Walk, you can valet park your car for up to two and a half hours for just $10. City Walk has many great dining options, so it's not hard to find a place to stop for lunch and get your parking validated. Follow the signs for Jurassic Valet. The valet parking is on the first level of the Jurassic parking garage, and it is a great location, and I really love how the sign shows a T-Rex holding car keys. I just think it's hilarious and cute. I love Jurassic Park. Once you valet park your car, you will be just steps from City Walk really close to the movie theater and the newest restaurant, Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. Highly recommended. If $10 is more than you want to pay for parking, you can park at Universal City's Park and Ride Lot for just $3 for all-day parking. All-day parking, yes. It's located off of Lancashire Boulevard, right across the street from one of the main entrances to Universal Studios Hollywood. After parking your car, cross the street and walk over to the tall building with a Comcast Universal sign on top. There's a shuttle stop right in front of the building that will take you up to City Walk for free. If you don't want to pay for parking at all, you have two options. One is to find free street parking in the neighborhood near Universal Studios and walk to the shuttle stop. A safe neighborhood near Universal Studios where you could park is just north of Universal Studios in an area called Toluca Lake. There are actually celebrities who live there. You never knew who you might see and street parking is free. It'd be a little bit of a walk, but if you wanna park for free and you don't mind walking, totally worth it. Another option, and this is the better option if you plan on visiting the theme park a lot, is to buy a gold pass, which is an annual pass that includes free parking. For now, we're sticking with valet parking for price and convenience when we visit for lunch, but we have our eye on that gold pass. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.